an item back here. There it is. How? And we're gonna have a lot of enemies in this area. Oh, I just got hit by that lady's curse. And she's shooting another one. Don't want to get hit by that. This is a hammer dude. Oh, I got hit by the curse thing again. Almost gone there. We got a whip. The whip in this game is. It, it's got a cool move set, but it's super disappointing in its damage. That lady's shooting stuff at me again. Got another shard. Can get up to this lady now, and we have to be careful when fighting her. She's trying to whack me with her book. There's a swing, and not good. I'm corner trapped, but it's okay. I was able to tell when she was going to attack. Fully charged. Ow. Ow. Not good! Not- why am I- why am I getting up? Why did it take me so long to stand up there? I forgot how weak my Estus is. One of his shitty curses. Got her. Fucking. Uh, fuck yeah. Right, there's an item down there, but first I'm gonna go back up here. Back up here. Get this item. I'm gonna go check down here. And we've been invaded. Not sure where our invader is. But uh, we should be careful. I don't think I can rest. Oh, I can. Wait on the bridge. Oh, he had to invade me again. I think. Oh, over there. Alright. Let's see how this goes. He's walking. That is the guy that I already saw. You know, the NPC we just talked to. I think it is. Yeah, it is. Definitely is, 100%. I guess that was... Uh, what I did was to give me context. And this guy sort of goes around and does this. Trying to be careful. Because I don't know how strong. I have no idea how strong this guy is at the moment. Okay, he's pretty strong. I only did 60 with that hit. So I gotta try for backstabs. 
thought I was behind him. Or I could try and push him off the ledge. Power attack. He's too far away there. Oh, Pyromancy. Oh! He's taking damage from that. I think that was a buff. That's another buff. Actually, no, that's a heal. So I'm gonna hang out in that. There's another one of his heals. This is a uh, pretty hectic. I gotta be careful. I don't want to go towards that enemy because that's a tough enemy. Okay, I hit him. Nice. Not so nice. That was a close dodge. He's out of Estus. Doing a lot of damage though. Careful bud, you might fall off. You might fall off. Well, that went slowly, that's the word. Alright, let's try and kill this guy. And this is probably when I'm going to have a lot of trouble going through this area. Can I backstab you? Yeah. No! But I can stun lock you. So yeah, I mentioned the guy with the cage earlier. This is like the normal version with the saw. The only reason I have a problem with these guys is how aggressive they can get. This guy was pretty uh, calm. And this area. Ooh. You gotta be careful here. So I just gotta wait a second. And go. My dodge roll on. And I'm in the building. I still got knocked by that last one. Right, so. We were getting hammered by giant arrows. And, uh. There'll be an explanation for that later. But, um. Whew, those arrows are brutal. I want to get this item. I don't remember what this is, but I do remember grabbing it. Oh yeah, it's the scythe. I tried the scythe for a while, and it was okay. Uh, there's just better items. And now, we come up to our next boss fight. We're gonna need to summon some people, if we can. Looks like we're going to get these two, which is great. Hey. Hello. Just waiting for the other guy. Do I have anything here I want to use during this? Fire, lightning... Uh, alluring skulls, no. No, nothing really. Oh, I failed to summon that other guy. Let's summon this guy. And wait around. So this guy's got Lucatil's, uh armor from Dark Souls 2. Or at least the hat. I don't know if he's got everything. No, he's got the... Well, the mask is part of the hat, obviously. Margaret. 
Ah, uh, yeah. Alright. So this boss fight is, um, an interesting one. So I gotta trigger the boss. These guys can't come in until the boss is triggered. Before I trigger the boss, I'm just gonna kill a few of these guys. And now the boss is triggered. So the boss is this giant tree. His weak spot is his ball sack. That is not a joke. His weak spot is his ball sack. The um, phases he goes through during the fight. He starts off uh, as he is sitting down exposing his balls. You damage his balls enough until they pop and then he breaks uh, the surface we fall into an area and then he gives birth not even a joke I gotta look out for that he's just turning so much I'm gonna have trouble getting around oh great bad time for me to try and do some damage. So yeah, during this fight, normal enemies will be spawning and dropping down, as this one just did. It's good to kill them. You get some souls and, well, they don't mob you because they're not alive. We've done hardly any damage to this guy, so I'm going to see if I can get in here. I got hit. Right up his weak spot. There we go. No good. Oh, better back up. Yeah. This is also the first boss where you get very confused if it's your first time fighting. That was a big hit. So one of these guys knows where to hit him, but the other one I think is a little confused. And this can be a long fight. And these are actually the tough enemies spawning in now. Might actually use, because I'm doing such small damage. This. I just thought fire because he's a tree. So we're gonna try this out. Well, that that seemed to do it. Now, like I said, the surface breaks and we fall down and this is an area we were just in and like I said he starts giving birth <laughs> so I think I would like to say I think he's trapped inside this tree and that's what the arm is but I can't say that because otherwise that implies he has three arms but uh, the way to beat this is his front arm you can damage and it will swing at you. So, you let him swing down like that and you try and get hits on his front arm. Yeah, like that. Unfortunately, I'm kind of getting wrecked right now. Gotta look out for that arm. And gotta run. quickly organizing my inventory as we do this. <laughs> Ooh. Saw that coming and didn't do anything. Oh, there's the arm. Uh oh, that guy was grabbed. Out. 
do have problems with actually hitting this guy's weak spots in his second phase, but it's not like super difficult. Trial and error. Now we're going to try lightning out. This guy keeps going in from behind. I guess there's a weak spot there? Yeah, there is. But it's too high up for me to hit, I think. I guess it's any of his little uh, bulge bits. Don't want to walk into that. I walked into it. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh, the shoulder! Hit it! No! <laughs> Oh, there we go. Oh, there's bodies in those. That's cool. And now the front is pretty much where we have to hit. Oh, thank you guys. He was just about to roll at me. Oh, there's his grab. It's a long fight. I forgot how long this can be. Ah, uh, this is long. More of that shit. His last week spot is his arm. Oh, 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 oh look out. You boys alright? I have to be careful because I'm out of Estus and that's why I'm being very slow and cautious here. Ooh. Guys, please be careful. Please be careful. He's getting up. He's getting up. He's falling down. It'd be cool if you can climb up on him. He is a tree. Wipe again. These guys are getting hit a lot. Just trying to get used to the range of his arm. Uh -oh. But he's collapsed. Oh, he had a thing on his hand. Thank you. Wait, there's one on his foot as well, isn't there? Yeah, right there. Maybe I can hit that. I can. I can hit that. His foot. His foot is a weak spot. Huh. If you hit it right. Which I am not. Oh shit, oh shit. Huh. That was a good dodge. Ooh. Hit it. Ooh. Yeah, see that one on his leg? Got it! Nailed it! Which is why I'm doing the despair thing. Whew, that was a... long fight. And difficult fight. Bye! Jump for joy! Whew! Alright, uh, um... There should be, yep, there it is. And this is that message we were talking about earlier that said bonfire. And would you look at this? A body. It's the guy that invaded us. Well. He's not doing too well now. Right, we're going to travel back to the shrine. Uh, the only pro the thing that really annoys me about this. You beat the boss. But after you beat the boss, you have to walk the same way you went uh, to the top bit, way up there, where you entered the boss fight. You have to go through the arrows and shit again if you want to go to the next area. Like, they've got the bonfires so much closer to each other in this game, I don't see why they didn't add another bonfire. Like, n like up there, near the boss entrance. And I guess you'd argue that it's like a, a boss run, you gotta run there to get to the boss. But after you beat the boss, it's more of an inconvenience. 
All right, now that that's over, uh, let's go check what we can get with these boss souls that I have. Up here. How? Can I fail? Miserably? Can I recover? Oh, no. Huh. Oh, no. No. We'll just go the long way. Fret not, fret not. My feet are for us. My feet are here, firmly planted. What feet? You've got no feet. Uh, so yeah, now. Oh, we like it is a transposing, seeing better day now. I'm gonna Trans skip through this. He basically explains that it's something he can use to craft items using um boss souls. So now we can actually craft items with the boss souls that I was talking about earlier. So uh, the items here, each one that is crafted is pretty much special and it's got like a special effect or something. When you look through here, uh, this one says it's special when two-handing, this one, stamina recovery, but oh, oh wait, no, it says, uh, saps one's life, lowers absorption, and slows stamina recovery, uh, but accumulates in the body, causing frostbite. Wait, so is this just, this must be, yeah, no, it's a weapon that causes frostbite, but it fucks with you when you use it. So yeah, that's a gimmicky one. Uh, this one's a spear, I think. Defeating foes restores HP, and this recovers HP with successive attacks. It's probably very small HP. Um, how much is that? That's zero, as long as I cash in a soul. Valuable. Oh, I might as well get that, actually. Thank you. Then we can test that. Right, we also have a whole bunch of souls. So we can talk to our level up lady. Actually, before I do this. Something that I do and a lot of people do not do. Because they want to save them. Are boss souls. So after talking to that guy, I saw that there were no other items there that I wanted. So I'm going to use these. They gave me an extra 3,000 souls. And I'm also going to use these. No, stop using your banked souls. I'm going to use them now rather than lose them later. Use them while they give you a decent amount of souls. Instead of using them when you get like... A ridiculous amount of souls, but it costs a ridiculous amount to level up. Welcome, speak very well. I'd rather Contact use them now, because a thousand souls is a lot now. Later on, it's going to be nothing. Eight levels. No, I'm not putting it all into that. So I could put that up. I'm going to round that off. I'm going to round that off. Then I can put two more. Uh, I'm probably going to put them both into Vit. Yeah, I'm going to put those into Vit. Vitality uh, affects how much stuff you can carry. So, the best way to explain it is... Each thing weighs something. Weight 4.8, weight 10.8, 2.3, 4.3. And my Vitality... Uh, wherever it is, where are you? 13? There should be a number. Oh, Equip Load. So that is the weight of those items and you combine all the weight of all the items you're holding and it'll give you your equip load and depending on your equip load depends on maybe I can use something in this, as an example depends on how good your roll is and how fast you can move and stuff so when I've got these uh, legs on you can see that I'm hitting the ground like sloppy and you can hear it's heavy and stuff but if I were to switch those back to the ones I just had on, which are lighter, I'm doing a way faster, way smoother roll. Now obviously you're like giving up armor for lighter items, which gives you a better roll, but if you put up your vitality to super high, then you can use those really good armors and still have a good roll. In Dark Souls 2, I used Havel's armor, 
with a great sword and his shield and I had the best roll that you could get because I just pumped everything into vitality and strength. And that was pretty much my build. Uh, right, oh, whoops, I'm gonna reinforce my Estus. I don't think I can do that twice, no. Uh, look at these items. I got, uh, I got Titanite to spare. Later on I'm gonna get heaps. But right now I'm not gonna do anything with it. Oh, right, have I got any ash for you? Anything for you? No. Might buy some fire bombs with what I got left over. Whoops. There we go. Alright, so that is it for this video. Uh, thank you for watching. And uh, in the next one, what are we doing? Uh, we gotta continue through that area we were just at. And there are quite tough enemies there, but we also get to meet one of the coolest guys. So, uh, see you then. Bye!